Hey y'all, welcome back to Surviving Chronically. Uh, let's see, today I am really, really, really excited because I have been planning this for a while and I had to get all the, the stuff together to do so. I am going to be infusing some coconut oil today with some pure CBD isolate. The I have a gram of the pure CBD isolate, which is a thousand milligrams of CBD in this gram. And I'm going to be dividing it up and putting it into different um, jars. And I'm going to infuse it into the coconut oil. This is the type of coconut oil that I use. And uh, I'm going to do it in my crock pot. So um, I will show you guys a little bit about doing that. And um, I hope that you guys will uh, like and subscribe and stick around because my plan is to educate as much as I can about chronic illness and cannabis on this uh, channel and also just to freely be myself and just share with you guys uh, what it's like for Patricia in her world. So I'm going to put a half a cup of the coconut oil in each jar. And then I will be putting a half gram of the CBD isolate in each jar. And then I will be putting water in my crock pot and putting them in there to infuse for a couple hours. It, uh, I think it's two hours. I'll have to double check my what I have wrote down to do this properly. But um, as you can see, I, I label the chocolate suckers one and then... Uh, so that I know that I'm going to have the exact right amount of milligrams in this jar for the chocolate suckers that I'm going to make with this CBD. Okay, so I am going to weigh out the CBD and divide it in half and put half in each jar with a half a cup of the coconut oil and uh, that will make my chocolates about 20 to 25 milligrams of CBD a piece once they are done <clears throat> and once I get the CBD in here with the coconut oil I'm gonna put it in the water in the crock pot for an hour to let it infuse the coconut oil but while I'm doing this I really just want to take a chance to say thank you to a friend of mine her name is Adrienne. She is actually the person who taught me everything that I know about infusing. She is the person who has taught me everything that I know about CBD isolate and about uh, making uh, cannabis uh, CBD edibles. Uh, thank you, Adrienne, so much for teaching me everything I know and for being my go-to when I have questions about this and for being there for me when I want to learn. I really appreciate that. Okay, we got the half a cup of the coconut oil in each of the jars and now we are going to weigh out the CBD isolate to put in each jar. It definitely looks like something different. <laughs> there. We're going to put the lid on it that says chocolate suckers. And we're just going to put it in here. And we'll let that sit in there on half for an hour. Our sucker tray is prepped. I made my own double boiler, which I'm sure that somebody is going to be like it, eh, but I didn't buy a double boiler just to make these suckers because I make them 
every now and again because I make a good little bit. They last me for a while. And I am going to use this to pour the suckers. And there is my CBD oil that I'm warming up now because I put it in the uh, refrigerator when I couldn't make the CBD suckers that night. Uh, you can put it in the refrigerator, you can put it in the freezer, whichever way you would like to preserve it. Um, some people don't do neither. I just prefer to put it in the refrigerator. It makes me feel more comfortable. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, the last time that I was recording, I was making this, which is the uh, CBD oil for our CBD chocolate suckers and um, I have our everything set up here and I'm working on the double boiler and we are going to be getting these suckers made and I'm making them out of Hershey milk chocolate so I'm excited So, when we made the CBD oil out of the coconut oil, we made a half a cup of oil. So, I do a half a cup of oil to a cup of chocolate. And you can use any kind of chocolate that you want for this. Uh, I've made it with the chocolate that you can buy at Aldi, the semi-sweet chocolate. And to, I like semi-sweet. I don't like my chocolate to be crazy sugary. But um, it turned out really good with that I am of course like I said using the milk chocolate this time you can use white chocolate you can use if those of you who are local go to the cheese shop and get their chocolate wafers you can use those um, and really you could do this to make regular candy suckers but you would need like a candy thermometer and you would probably want to use something different than coconut oil because it would probably make your suckers cloudy I think that the coconut oil goes very well with the chocolate and I find it to be a nice little way to get in 20-25 milligrams of CBD when I need it when I'm having pain or anxiety or whatever issue I may be having so I just feel like I like having a nice and it's a nice little treat and you'd be like mmm Especially when you're feeling down. So when you're feeling down and it's an anxiety issue, the little chocolate is a little pick me up. So, like I said, a cup of a cup of these chocolate chips. This will make about 20 to 25 suckers. Sometimes it depends. Um it depends on how many it makes. Sometimes it just is, does not work out exactly to be exactly 25. So I used my microwave to melt the CBD down because it was cold and solid and I wouldn't have been able to get it out of the jar just like that. So I melted it down. I'll let you guys see what it looks like melted down. And sometimes if it seems like it's not getting as thick as I think it should, I will I will add some more chocolate chips. I know that like CBD is something that a lot of people do not understand and I've said in some of my other previous videos there's some places to get some information on CBD. One of them would be hempsley.com. I totally, 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 totally love Hempsley. I love everything about it. I really, really like the um, founder. Her name's Kristen Williams. I have interviewed he her here on the uh, vlog. I will uh, link the video so you guys can go back and watch it. But you wanna make sure that you don't burn your chocolate. So once it gets melted, you wanna be ready to go. Now this is a pretty quick process. So I'm going to try to let you guys be able to see what I'm doing 
while I'm doing it because you gotta pour while it's warm. I used to have a little squirt bottle that worked really well for this, but it has been MIA. So I'm assuming one of my children has confiscated said squirt bottle. So I may never see it again. The world may never know. The world may never know, my friends. But I bet you one of them kids of mine knows. <laughs> what? You talking to? Yeah, I'm talking about you. Did you take my squirt bottle? Who are you talking to? My vlog people. Oh. The squirt bottle? Yeah, my squirt bottle that I used for this. No. I accidentally ordered sticks that are too long, so I put them all the way up in the mold. And I always do it a little bit and let it like it's going to pop over. This one isn't working out right, but oh well. And once I'm done filling these up, I will put them in the refrigerator to harden up. I'll show you guys what they look like when they're done. So normally they wouldn't be this messy, but they're about to go in the refrigerator. Okay, they've hardened up. As you guys can, guys can see, buying the longer sticks has sort of not worked out. And... <laughs> I made a mess in some of the places. This is more, these ones are more like they're supposed to be. I made a mess over here too. But anyways, you guys can see how easy it is. And I'll show you really quick how easy it is to pop one out. So that you can see, you just do that. If you have both hands, it pops out pretty easy. Ta -da. So as you can see, it wasn't that hard to make these CBD suckers. The hardest part is really figuring out the milligrams and making sure that you get quality CBD so that you're not putting crap in your body to try to help yourself. Um, and like I said earlier, the, this CBD can be infused into anything. It can be infused into food. It can be infused into regular food like dinners. It can be infused into breakfasts. It can be put in coffee. That coconut oil, like I, I believe I said before, some people put it in their coffee in the mornings, and that's how they get their CBD for the day. So um, that is how that that is the video on how to make chocolate CBD suckers I hope that you guys will do this at home or try this at home if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me make something else please let me know please subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll get notified when I upload new videos and I want you guys to always remember that you're not alone and I hope you guys have a great day bye